Hi Kiwis, here's Alexandra. Today we will create us a Nurgle Chaos Space Marine by using green stuff. And for this purpose I have built up previously this miniature here. This is a kit badge miniature uh, out of several kits. For example the legs are from the uh, Corn Berserkers box. Then the uh, torso and head are from the Moment Space Marine box. I got one with a, a plain breastplate, no Aquila there. <clears throat> then the arm here with a, a sword attached to it. This uh, bionic arm is from uh, Puppet's War. I showed you in the unboxing video. Then uh, Chaos Space Marine shoulder pads. Also uh, from the uh, Corn Berserkers uh, um, is this boat pistol. I uh, cut the arm and turned the uh, arm a little bit and glued it back on. And also the backpack is from the Corn Berserkers spell. So, <clears throat> also uh, the Corn Berserkers have uh, this free legs. This is why uh, I chose it. And uh, I cut away the uh, other part of the leg and uh, placed it here with a little wire so that we can work on it. Uh, like I said, we will convert this here with uh, using green stuff. First, uh, I will introduce you to the tools. Well, obviously, the green stuff. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is a two-component epoxid uh, hearts. <coughs> and uh, you mix in by, uh, well, dragging those two together uh, and they become green. This is a modeling paste, uh, like rubber, and then uh, you can well, model it any way you want. And uh, after several time passes, this will uh, harden then. So then uh, we need some tools to work with the green stuff. Uh, uh, like here, this here is the tool from Games Workshop uh, I have laying around. And I have here, uh, this here, this is also a modeling tool. You can get in uh, several web stores about uh, modeling and hobby stuff. Also you can get uh, for uh, modeling tools whole sets with uh, several different uh, things. <coughs> this year this is a quite unique thing and this is uh, called a horseshoe. Uh, this here has a, a rubber tip and is normally um, used by women uh, to, uh, well, make here uh, the nails a little bit prettier. Also has here a nice uh, pointy edge. <coughs> so then uh, also I will use a silicone uh, brush. This here uh, was a uh, size 3 silicone uh, modeler, but uh, it was a little bit big so I uh, simply cut it here and here to have uh, the nice shape. But those uh, silicone uh, Brushes are perfect to uh, smooth out the green stuff. So this we'll uh, use. Then uh, also keep in mind to uh, keep your uh, tips of the tools moist or a little bit wet so that they uh, doesn't stick to the green stuff. We want the green stuff to stick on the monitor and not on the tool. So <coughs> what else do we need for this modification? Well, what I have here are guitar strings. So uh, these are, are some used guitar strings uh, from a friend of mine. He gave them to me uh, last time when he um, well made up uh, new guitar strings on his guitar and I took up the old ones. So they didn't cost anything for me but when you uh, want to buy them in a store they uh, come also like this and they are not really expensive. So they come in uh, several different sizes. Uh, here this is from an acoustic guitar, a uh, little bit bigger here. Those are perfect uh, things for wires and cables and such uh, stuff for our Death Guard Space Marine. So um, I will mix up a little bit of the green stuff now and be right back. Okay, I've mixed up me a little bit uh, of green stuff for the first batch and uh, then we can go on. Uh, also very important uh, for working with green stuff is a miniature holder. Uh, I get questions all uh, about the, my holder every time and as you can see this is just a simple paint pot, <laughs> an old paint pot from me. And uh, on top of this, this is some uh, 
poster tag <coughs> and uh, there you can stick in the miniature and it holds perfect so um, also what I have done uh, here I have cut out me two pieces of uh, guitar string in the appropriate uh, length here so because I want to have this here kind of a, a bionic leg that is uh, well really gross and ugly and for that stuff uh, we simply take out a little bit of the green stuff and uh, be sure that your fingers are a little bit moist so that the green stuff doesn't stick to your fingers so now I take my tweezers also a little bit wet and I try to place it there yeah. so now I take a modeling tool also a little bit moist and I will simply work it in place this is just the first layer of green stuff I want to have here on this to work around it so just attach it to the top at the bottom and then work it on so <coughs> just like that So, we want this to be <coughs> the base to glue on there, our guitar strings. So, just take your tweezers and place them on the green stuff. A little bit pushing on so that it holds. Same on the other side. Come on. Be a nice guitar string. So. And then we have a very tiny one that we will place. Oh, that's a little bit too long. So we will shorten it a little bit. Come on. <clears throat> okay, now it's away. <laughs> Sorry, I can't find it anymore, so we will click on another one. <clears throat> uh, let's see, which one do we take? Uh, let's take this one. Hold it so that it doesn't fly away. And then there we have it. And that we will simply also place there. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, well, you get the point. I'll be right back. Okay, and there you can see the three guitar strings in there with a little bit of green stuff around it that we will uh, leave to dry until we uh, can work on it again right now we want uh, to modify this uh, marine even more to uh, have him look like <coughs> a death card space marine and for that purpose uh, we want to have here a, a wire from <coughs> the nozzle of his head um, uh, right here to his belt so I will uh, cut away a little bit of the nose. Uh, let's take a hobby knife for that. Okay, like that. <coughs> and at that place, we can now drill in the hole with our trusty hand drill.
Okay. Be patient. Not, uh, not like me. <laughs> ah, damn it. Well, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. <laughs> so, just draw a little bit upwards then. I guess that's okay. So, and now we will uh, cut us a nice guitar string <coughs> for the tube. Yeah, that's a good length. <coughs> okay. Let's see if it fits in there. Well, yeah. A little bit too big on top here. We have to modify this a little bit. Okay. Also at the bottom. So. <coughs> yeah, that fit in. fits in. So now we drill a hole here into the belt. Do I have it connected there? Okay. Now we have to bend this <coughs> the way we want it, or the way we need it. So, let's see where we are. Okay. Cut it away. <coughs> Damn it, all those things hard. Let's see where we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get the point. Um, I will work this now off camera and glue that in. And be right back. Okay, tubies. There you can see I've added uh, both wires. I've, well, added another one here from the head to the backpack. And, uh, yeah, let's start working a little bit with green stuff, shall we? So, first uh, we use a little bit of the green stuff and form it into a little, little worm. <laughs> Rusty tool. So, come on. So, <coughs> we will work now these wires in so that they look really nice and gross. <laughs> it on slightly so that the green stuff itself sticks to the model 
and then we can uh, start working around. So for Nurgle models, uh, you don't need to be a, a perfect sculptor. I am a, in no way a perfect sculptor, so... <coughs> well, to create some Nurgle stuff that I can manage to do, but other stuff, no. But it's a good way to practice. can see I'm making just a grossy little surface here around so that it looks like there's some kind of infestation or something like that. <coughs> that way you can uh, hide <coughs> gluing points like that really nice so there you can see where the wire goes in so next part will be around the nose some treatment a little worm taking it placing it on <coughs> remember to have a little wet tool so that the green stuff doesn't stick to the tool and then simply work around it just like that Make sure that it sticks well to the surface and then you can work it in. We are using the holder that we, uh, when we are working on other areas, we don't uh, accidentally touch the green stuffed parts. So also sometimes you have to get rid of a little bit because it's too much. So then just remove it like that quite easy. So and for that surface I think I will use my <coughs> silicone brush to work the edges <coughs> really nice and smooth in. transition from the helmet itself. kinds of tools. Some people like to use, for example, toothpicks. I like to use those stuff here. Just personal preference. Use the tools that you want to use. Oh, and by the way, um, I get often questions for commission work. If I would do them or not. No, I don't do commission work. But there are commission studios out there that are quite good <coughs> and make excellent work. For example, Worthy Painting is a really nice studio. They have even a Golden Demon winner working there. So if you want really good, nice quality, then go to them. Okay, 
Well, I will uh, work that a little bit uh, out some more, and then I'll be back. So, there we have now all the wire ends sculpted in with the green stuff. <coughs> and now we will work a little bit more at the leg. So, same procedure. Just simply <coughs> take the green stuff, place it on. I said place it on, so. Okay. <coughs> and then work it in. So we'll make it here a little grossy bionics. Cybernetics. So converting a Nurgle Space Marine or Death Guard is quite easy <coughs> and a lot of fun. And you will train your sculpting sculpting skills with it. Uh, you can uh, work in like this every kind of uh, pustules and uh, whatnot to the marine, but uh, we will now uh, make something else uh, to make some uh, nice ugly surface. We need a little bit of super glue and some sand, and I will demonstrate this uh, right here at the leg, for example. Just add in some of the super glue, like that, <coughs> and then you take your trusty sand, and you're sanding the surface. And voila, you get a, a really nice, gross surface, like there's something growing on the armor of the marine. When this is painted, this looks. Uh, Really, really nice. Also, you could um, search for some rounder stones, like for example this one here. Hmm? This would make a nice, ugly, ugly thing on the armor. And so, uh, just place it here, maybe on the shoulder pad. Like that. When this is painted, this will look gross. <laughs> also, you could uh, work this in with green stuff <coughs> and all that kind of things. So, I hope you liked this little video about uh, converting a Nurgle Space Marine. Uh, when you do that on your own, you can uh, make it as less or as uh, much as you want. Well, it's totally up to you. Now it's your turn to create your own uh, ugly Death Guard Space Marines. So, uh, I would go ahead and uh, work this a little bit more out and, well, maybe in the future you will see a painting tutorial of him when he's finished Nurgled up. So, until then, you're Alexandra.